Hi, my name is Thomas LeFoe, and in this tutorial we'll be creating shapes in Illustrator and blending them together using the new Shape Builder tool that came out with Illustrator CS5. Starting in Illustrator, if I look at the toolbar on the left hand side of the screen, I will see my rectangle tool. If I click and hold my mouse down on this tool, a menu will pop up showing me my other shape tools. I'm going to select the ellipse tool. Using my ellipse tool, I'm going to draw several overlapping shapes, kind of creating a ring of circles. The exact placement and size of these shapes doesn't matter at this point, as long as the circles are overlapping. Now that I have my circles, I'm going to click back on my selection tool. I can reposition the circles as I want, even rotate them and resize them. The key part of these circles to look at here is the outside edge of this whole shape as that's what we're going to be left with after we use our shape builder. As soon as I get these circles positioned the way I want them, I'm going to use my selection tool to draw a box around all of these circles. This will select the circles which is important because this lets the Shape Builder tool know which shapes it's using. After selecting the circles, select your Shape Builder tool. You will notice the little blue lines that outline your circles. These lines are called paths, and the paths are what Illustrator uses to create the shapes. The Shape Builder tool gives you a way to blend these paths together to create different shapes. Move your Shape Builder tool inside one of the circles. You will notice that it shades in any areas that it can detect. You can begin adding these shapes together by clicking in one area and dragging to another. You will see that now these areas are blended together and our path outlines that new shape. Continue using the Shape Builder tool to add areas together. You may see some leftover sections where the circles overlap several times. Just continue adding these sections to your shape using the Shape Builder tool. The Shape Builder tool also, also detects the inside of shapes, as you can see here with the center of the circles. Just add that to your shape by clicking and dragging. Now if I select my new shape with the selection tool, I can use my tool options at the top to add a fill and a stroke. I'm going to increase the weight of this stroke so we can see how that looks. Now you can see that our new shape is mapped along the outsides of where our circles were and Illustrator fills in that shape with a new color. The Shape Builder tool can also be used to remove areas from a shape. Let's say that I wanted to remove the center section of this shape. I'm going to grab my ellipse tool and draw a circle right in the middle of my new shape. Remember that you can use your selection tool to reshape and reposition the center circle. Again, using your selection tool, you'll draw a box around these two shapes to select them, and then click on your Shape Builder tool. Move the Shape Builder inside the center of this circle. You will notice it shades in that area, and I still have the little plus sign next to my cursor. If I hold down my Alt key, or an Option key on a Mac, you'll see that that plus sign changes to a minus click to remove the center of that shape. Now if I click back to my selection tool, you'll see that the shape is now cut out. So using the shape tools and the new shape builder tool, we have quickly and easily created a new custom shape. 